Today, I'm taking this ultra luxury sleeper train for 72 hours across an entire country. I'm staying in a luxury suite, complete with a comfy bed and an ensuite bathroom. Yes, you see correctly, that's a bath on a train. Join me and my dad as we live on board for three days. From fine dining in the restaurants, relaxing in the observation car, and propping up the bar in the evenings. Let's go and check in for one of the world's most luxurious trains in South Africa's sunny Pretoria. How's it and welcome to Africa. It's been a long drive this morning from the game reserve where I've spent an incredible few days on safari, but now we have a train to catch. We're warmly welcomed and our luggage is promptly collected. These will be delivered to our cabin later. The blue train departs from a private section of Pretoria Station, and yes, there's even a red carpet. Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel. Well, we're about to go and get on board the blue train. Behind me here is the dedicated check-in terminal. So without any more to say, let's go and get on board. As there's still some time before boarding, we're invited to relax in the lounge with the other passengers there's plenty of comfy chairs to kick back in along with that much needed caffeine hit. What's more, there's some live music to accompany the final formalities we must complete before our tickets are issued. So what exactly is the Blue Train? Well, it's a service rooted in history and dates back to the 1920s. Back then, the train acted as a vital link from Pretoria down to Cape Town for the Union Castle steamers bound for Southampton. In the late 1930s, these were replaced with steel coaches built in England and painted in blue, and therefore the blue train was born. Should we go and see what it's like then? Our butler is ready to escort us to our carriage and we're led out onto the platform. Spirits are high and everyone is excited, with lots of photos being taken and smiles all around. Let's get on board then and find out just how luxurious this really is. We're in car 7 towards the rear of the train. There are just three luxury suites per carriage and we're in room 24 today. And just before we explore this incredible train from the observation car to the bath, it's time for a quick word from today's video sponsor. With all my travels comes a lot of downtime at the station, airport or cruise terminal. But what better way to escape by playing Toon Blast, the sponsor of today's video. Toon Blast is a free to play mobile game which has great graphics, engaging team challenges and cute characters. Solve puzzles by blasting cubes and creating powerful combos whilst passing through over 7,000 levels. Toon Blast isn't just a solo game, you can join a team to work as a group with other players to unlock awesome rewards. You don't need Wi-Fi so you can play anywhere. Yes, even here. This is a sneak peek of my Alaska cruise coming up in a few weeks. My favourite part is you won't get interrupted by a ton of annoying ads. So download Toon Blast for free today using my link in the description or with this QR code and get 3 hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. Thanks again Toon Blast for sponsoring today's video. On the train at last. We are on the train. Of course you've seen Dad in the background I'm sure by now but welcome back to the channel. Thank you. You're on a train again. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> this does seem a little bit more luxurious than Amtrak though, it's got to be said. Uh, yeah, yeah. You so, did have a red so car. So good, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just like that, we're off for the next three days on the rails. So where is this luxury train taking us? We'll travel a thousand miles southwest through some of the most diverse and spectacular scenery, ending some 60 hours later in Cape Town. Right, so we're well on our way, but I think it's time that we take a proper look around our cabin. I say are though, because there's something which actually Dad doesn't know. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good thing, I promise. So this is a twin cabin, of course. You might have assumed it's uh, for us both to share. However, yeah, cosy. Exactly. However, this is the luxury cabin. It's the best one on the train. But I've actually booked another room a few down, which is one of the other suites. Not quite as nice, but it means you've got this space to yourself. Fantastic. There you go. You can order <laughs> all the champagne you want to your room on me. <laughs> and I will. Oh, God. <laughs> so Dad's in room 24 otherwise known as a luxury suite, and it's large for a train at 120 square foot. During the day, the suite offers two comfy armchairs in place of the bed, which will be turned down later this evening. There's quite the array of amenities, ranging from a direct line to your butler available 24-7, a dressing table with vanity mirror, spacious wardrobe, and a TV. 
There's also a large ensuite bathroom, complete with a bath, copious amounts of Italian marble and gold-plated taps. More on this later. Let's give Dad a chance to settle in and head down the train to my deluxe suite, one car along. I've been assigned room 21, so let's take a look inside. At 90 square foot, it's a third smaller than the luxury suite, but it's still more than enough space for me. Just like Dad's room, these comfy armchairs will be transformed into a sumptuous bed this evening. There's also a Netflix-ready TV and a spacious wardrobe. There are two key differences though, are the lack of a dressing table and a shower rather than a bath. Aside from that, still very nice indeed. So anyway, now I'm gonna unpack, get my stuff all sorted, because shortly it's gonna be time for dinner and our first experience of food on the blue train. Now, dinner on board the blue train is quite a fancy affair, and gentlemen are required to wear a jacket. Now, thankfully, I've brought one with me because, well, the NASA jumper is not gonna work this evening. Let's lock up then, collect Dad, and head for dinner. The dining car is located towards the front of the train and offers two sittings joined meal service. We've opted for the later sitting of 7.30 this evening. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the menu. Do bear in mind this is an all-inclusive train, including all booze. Now, I'm not a huge wine drinker, so choose the G&T, which is suitably strong. To start, Dad chooses the green tea cured salmon, whereas I go for the rice noodle salad dressed with ginger, soy, and roasted sesame seeds. Whilst a tad messy to eat, it's delicious. It's at this point that the train's resident saxophonist treats us to a performance. Whilst our next course, the roast pumpkin soup, is served. Some soft jazz later and we're on to our mains. Dad has the pan-fried line fish, which is served with a warm salad. And I go for the lamb noisette, served to my preference of medium. I must say so far, I'm really impressed with the caliber of dining on offer. To close, we're off dessert and cheeses. Though being quite full, we opt just for the dark chocolate brownie with a ginger creme anglaise, or well, ginger custard to you and I. With dinner out of the way, let's stagger up the train to the club car. This is positioned as a private social club. Here you can enjoy a selection of cognacs, or even a Cuban cigar, all complimentary of course. Neither Dad or I smoke, so instead opt for a scotch and a cognac. We're both actually surprised that no one else seems to have discovered this after-dinner sanctuary, but I guess it's still quite the novelty having this all to ourselves. Well, welcome back to my room. You need to be seeing this. It's been turned down for bed. It's been an amazing first day on board this incredible train. So let's just get ready for bed then and get that sleep in, ready for more adventures tomorrow on the rails. Day. Good morning from Kimberley. We've arrived at our first stop some 350 miles from Pretoria. It's a beautifully sunny day, so let's get up and get ready. I think first things first, it's time to try out the shower. And I want to make the most of the fact that we're not moving, because I don't know if you've showered before in a moving vehicle, but it is quite the challenge. I've been fortunate to try out quite a few showers on the rails, including the Creme de la Creme Orient Express, but this is certainly up there. Strong pressure, consistent temperature, and plenty of space. Unlike, sorry Amtrak, I do love you really. Much better. Right, let's head over to the dining car for breakfast.
Breakfast is a slightly different affair to dinner, with a light buffet selection of pastries and fruits, along with an extensive a la carte menu served at your table. Let's get started with a caffeine hit in the form of a filter coffee. Dad goes for the omelette, whilst I go for the French toast, complete with caramelised banana and maple syrup. To be frank, I've been spoilt in the US as this French toast fell short of my expectations. But hey, it did look good. Now, given it's the winter here in South Africa, Southern Hemisphere and all that, I'll be needing a jacket for this morning's excursion. Don't let the beautiful sunshine fool you, it's absolutely freezing. Don't you just love when you leave your socks tucked into your trousers? It's a solid look. We're now split up into small groups and taken by minibus for the short drive across town to one of the most famous landmarks in South Africa, Kimberley's Big Hole. Back in 1871, diamonds were discovered in Kimberley, and what began was a multi-decade operation with over 50,000 miners, digging by hand with picks and shovels, yielding nearly 3,000 kilograms of diamonds. The open pit filled partly with water today is a major tourist attraction, bringing many thousands to Kimberley from all over the world. As much as I'd love to explore more of Kimberley, we have a train to catch. We're welcomed back to the blue train with brandy liqueurs, the fantastic crew and of course live music. It's not long before we depart, bound for a further 36 hours of railroad travel. I guess that also means it's time for a bite to eat, seeing us back at our regular haunt, the dining car. Lunch looks spectacular, but my word, I couldn't eat like this every day. To begin, we'd both go for the carrot soup, served with parsley oil and bread. I find it most impressive. They're able to consistently deliver high-quality meals, travelling at speed, all in such a small kitchen. For main, Dad has the wild mushroom linguine in a spiced arabiata sauce, whilst I go for the roasted chicken supreme, served with sautéed vegetables. Both are fabulous. For dessert, we're offered the honey and saffron cheesecake with coconut crumble. Sadly, I don't feel this worked particularly well, which is a shame, but not everything can be 10 out of 10. With lunch out of the way, it's time to check out this train's party piece, the observation car. It's the perfect spot for an afternoon drink to watch the world go by, and as you can see, we're not the only ones joining. This also marks the start of our journey into the Karoo, a semi-desert region of South Africa. There's low rainfall here, typically with clear cloudless skies, and extremes in temperature from great heat to frosts. It's also home to quite the variety of wildlife, and prior to its extinction, the quagga was present here in great numbers. Today you'll find springbok, zebra, and even black rhinos. You know, I think it might just be time for afternoon tea. This is served in the lounge car, just along from our sleeping quarters. It's a lovely place to hang out with plenty of comfy chairs, free-flowing champagne, caffeine hits, or even a tipple of something a little stronger. In terms of spread, there's a mix of quiche finger sandwiches, with the highlight being the caramel cake. Now, I'd be lying if I said I didn't tuck into some. Of course, time passes differently on the blue train. Its motto, after all, is to surrender to the luxury of slow, and it's certainly something I'm enjoying. Spending quality time with my dad as we trundle across southern Africa, with only an overly competitive game of Monopoly deal to ruffle each other's feathers. Okay, dad did win over all. He'd never forgive me if I didn't fess up. Before we get too carried away, it's time to head back to our respective cabins to change for dinner. As with last night, the dress code requires a jacket, so let's see what I can rustle up. 
back in a familiar setting. What does dinner have in store for us this evening? Wow, what a menu. And to top it all off, our saxophone friend is back in the building, or should I say carriage. Dad kicks us off with the cucumber and mint salad with an avocado mousse. And of course, I just have to go for the smoked springbok carpaccio. This is a first for me. It's a delicious super lean meat with strong venison flavors. For our mains, Dad has the pan seared salmon with potato fondant, whilst I have the steak. Of course, it has to happen at some point on this trip. After an impromptu wine tasting, we're on to dessert. They really are loving this deconstructed dessert vibe, right? Thankfully, it's significantly better than the previous dessert at lunch. With dinner out of the way, let's go and wind down in the lounge car. However, it appears the party is just getting started. It's jazz night. So let's get the scotch poured, sit back and enjoy the show. Day. We've made solid progress during the night and about to pass through Micah's Fontaine. Originally a small depot and farm, Scotsman James Douglas Logan bought land here in 1884 and opened a refreshment station for passing trains. This flourished into a small town and today acts as a time capsule to Victorian era South Africa. In fact, I've actually been here previously when I took Rovos Rail last year. Sadly, we're just passing through today though. I make it time for breakfast, served as if by clockwork in the dining car. Let's take our usual seat and have a peek at this morning's menu. Dad's gone for the scrambled eggs, whereas I've chosen an almost full English breakfast. With breakfast out of the way, it's time to try something I've been looking forward to all trip, taking a bath on a moving train. This is a facility only available in the luxury suites, so thanks dad for allowing me to use his bathroom, but this really had to be tried. As the bath runs, we'll take a quick look around the rest of this bathroom. It's around double the size of mine, but has the same gold-plated taps and Italian marble everywhere. Right, let's give this a try then. What could possibly go wrong? It's exactly as I thought. A real novelty, but the water is sloshing around everywhere. Mind you, can you really beat a mid-morning DC in the tub watching the world go by? Well, I'm happy to welcome you to Worcester. Have you been here before, Dad? No, never in my life. So we've actually got uh, an unscheduled stop here. They need to top up the water um, that's used for the likes of showers and baths, and of course also how they cook our food. Um, so we're going to be here for about an hour, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's go and have a look around the station. Let's poke yeah, about, see what we can uh, find. Let's get excited, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> As stated, this is not a usual stop for the blue train, but who are we not to seize the opportunity to stretch our legs and explore? There's even a chance for us to view the changing of our locomotive, ready for our final stretch. We're notified lunch will be served shortly, so let's head back inside. When we have a brainwave, why not utilize the butler service to enjoy lunch in our suite? Unfortunately, there wasn't much in the way of options, but I'm not gonna complain getting room service on a train. With our orders placed, I think it's time to try out the TV. Something to be frank, we've not even thought of until now. With particularly slow Wi-Fi on board, I can only assume that many of the Netflix titles have been downloaded locally, as there's no way the connection could support it otherwise. We don't have too long to wait for lunch. With no menu provided, it's more of a guessing game, but dad goes for the fish dish with potatoes and baby carrots, whereas I have the beef stew served with steamed rice. Both are tasty, but certainly not the best meal of our trip. 
as if by cue the train lurches forwards and finally out of Worcester Station. Perfect timing for our dessert, the caramel sponge cake served with custard. And now it's time to sit back and enjoy some of the most spectacular scenery of the entire trip. Being not so far from Cape Town, unfortunately it's time to pack our bags. It's been one incredible trip on the blue train, but I'm sure most of you are wondering, how much was this? So as you know, I booked two rooms. First, the luxury suite for dad, which was 55,000 Rand, or well, just under $3,000. And my slightly smaller suite, the Deluxe, priced at 43,000 Rand, or $2,200. Hi there, and uh, welcome to Cape Town. So, uh, how would you find the trip then, William? It's, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, you enjoyed it, we did had, you? We had a really good laugh, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, I'm it's exhausted as ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching and coming along with us. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we'll catch you all again next time. Download Toon Blast for free using my link in the description, or with this QR code, and get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins.